Thank you, President. Unlike my predecessor or the previous speaker, I am not a professional footballer, so I cannot speak from experience of the football pitch. However, if you were to ask me whether the World Cup is an opportunity to discuss human rights, I would argue no. Can, no country should wait for this type of major event to tackle human rights. When FIFA decided to award the World Cup to Qatar 10 years ago, we knew that this was on shaky grounds. We adopted a resolution here in the European Parliament in 2013 and criticised that decision. But we are where we are and it is important that we take stock of human rights in Qatar. It has been in the spotlight as a result of the World Cup. And let us take a look at what has been done, what promises have been breached, and where there is room for improvement. That was the focus of our debate in the Droit Committee last week. Uh, Human Rights Watch was present and other NGOs, the ILO and the ITUC were there, as well as members of the Subcommittee on Human Rights. As you, Commissioner, have said, Qatar has taken some steps forward. The kafala system has been abolished in law, but we know that in some sectors, the kafala system exists in a particular way, in the, the uh, cleaning sector, domestic workers sector. We know there have been breaches, there have been deaths, and compensation must be paid. We need to work with Qatar to ensure that compensation payments are made, and we need to look at the responsibilities incumbent upon our companies. Our companies have not always respected the minimum requirements in Qatari law. Thank you. Then, uh... Thank you, Madam Arena. The next speaker on behalf of the Renew Europe group is Madam Che. You have the floor. 